I know that we're slowly approaching the transition period between this generation and the next generation of consoles, and so marketing can go a bit haywire due to miscommunication between the people making the consoles and the people making the games for them. As a result, we wind up feeling like we're in some booky parallel universe where nothing appears to make sense. I guess this is just one of those instances where I find myself confused. The Assassin's Creed Valhalla release date has been changed. It's been brought forward. The initial release date that we got for sure was the 17th of November, and that wasn't too long ago when they announced it, it just said Holiday 2020. Well now the release date is set for the 10th of November, which is unexpected. Being tweeted out by Assassin's Creed UK with this announcement, Assassin's Creed Valhalla launches, I had a stroke there, I apologise, with Xbox Series X slash S on the 10th of November 2020. Build the legend of a Viking Raider on any console. Upgrade from Xbox One to Xbox Series X at no additional cost. Usually I'm used to seeing release dates get delayed as opposed to being brought forward, so this is unusual to say the least, but when you look into it, it does kind of make a bit of sense. Firstly, we now know that the Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S are launching on the 10th of November this year. Yes, I'm well aware that the Xbox Series S looks like an MP3 player that you'd purchase on Wish. And to my understanding, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is locked into a marketing deal with Microsoft and the Xbox. So yes, it makes a massive amount of sense to be a launch title for the Xbox Series X and S. Furthermore, the release date set for Assassin's Creed Valhalla to begin with being the 17th of November was a little less than ideal anyway. The logic behind that being Cyberpunk 2077 would have launched only two days after it on the 19th of November. You'd be right in going, so they're vastly different games, people will choose and play what they want. Well, here's the thing. People only tend to buy one game at a time for the most part. I don't think people want to be spending stupid amounts of money on a game they're potentially not going to be investing themselves in or even playing for quite a while until after it's launched because within days another game's coming out that they're anticipating. It's not the least flawed logic I've ever used in my life but I will say this. Why take the risk of competing for sales with another game, especially a massive one like Cyberpunk? A nine day release difference is a lot better looking than a two day release difference, especially Especially when it comes to competing for sales with a game that you know is going to steal the show. Cyberpunk 2077 promises to be a massive game so if you push the game back there may not be so much interest because a lot of players will be investing all their time into that. And so the safer option is of course to bring it forward so players will be more interested in this game because there'll be nothing stopping them from getting it on launch. I mean there'll be plenty, Cyberpunk and Assassin's Creed Valhalla aren't the only games out there but of course Cyberpunk is going to be a very heavy hitter. For all we know it could have nothing to do with Cyberpunk, it could simply be down to that being the launch date of the next gen of Xbox. So they've realigned the date so the game can be a launch title for Xbox's up and coming fridge freezer and their washing machine. This change of a release date is certainly not something that I expected. Bringing a game forward as opposed to delaying one if you're going to change the release date is something that I haven't really heard of too much. But I guess my best explanation for why we had a release date before this that was different and a bit later on is that the 17th was going to be like some form of ballpark estimate until they knew when the Xbox Series X slash S would release. But of course, please do let me know what you make of this new release date. Hopefully this doesn't take away from the polishing time for the game. I can't imagine that it will because it's such a small change, it's literally like a week earlier, but beyond that it's just a launch date. So thought I'd just keep you posted on that one, but there's nothing else really to say, so I'm going to conclude this video here and now. So thank you all for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, that would be fantastic. And with any luck, I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point, but until next time, goodbye.